So you see these content creators online who are traveling all of the time and you're wondering how the heck is this even possible? How are they affording this? A few years ago, I was wondering the exact same thing. I'm going to be spilling all the tea and all the secrets on how they're able to do this, including some that I don't think you've heard before. Speaking of travel, we're going on a road trip today. So let's go. Here's something you might not expect. A lot of content creators who post beautiful travel content often don't actually get paid for posting on social media. Have you ever seen a creator who posts amazing travel content, but you've never seen a paid partnership on their social media page? I used to see these people all the time, and I used to wonder, how are they traveling all the time, and how are they making money if they're not doing any branded campaigns? Well, a lot of these content creators are actually photographers and videographers, and some of them might even dabble in social media management or social media consulting. Creators often work with businesses and brands in different parts of their country or even the world. They might even actually work with businesses within the travel industry, like hotels or Airbnbs. But at the end of the day, they're producing photos and videos for the brand to use rather than being paid to promote something on their own social media. These creators often use social media as marketing or advertising for themselves and their skills, almost like a portfolio and also a way for new clients to potentially discover them. Side note, you don't need a large following to be a successful photographer or videographer, but having a larger following means more eyeballs on you and your work, so it might lead to more clients. At the end of the day, these people travel because it's their job. So they're basically going on work trips all the time. Probably also do love to travel, so they probably seek out opportunities specifically that will allow them to travel. All right, next spot. Okay. The next method you probably already know, and that's influencing. If an influencer has enough followers on their Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, even a blog, they can work with a tourism board, a hotel, Airbnbs, even an airline to promote that place or business on their account. So the influencer will often get free accommodations, a free flight. In the case of a tourism board, they'll also get like free experiences or tours, and then some might even get paid. It just depends like how many followers the account has and what the budget is of the tourism board or hotel. So this way the creator will have at least some of their trip covered, if not the whole thing, and then some of them might actually make money from a trip. But at the end of the day, it still is a work trip. The influencer has to produce photo and videos that they then promote on their page. So we were filming in one spot, but we swiftly left because we heard a very weird noise. And we're here in the fall, and in Algonquin Park in the fall, there's really not that many people around at all. So I feel like the wildlife probably like comes out to the road and stuff because there's nobody here. And we heard some weird noises that we feel like were an animal, although we did not see an animal. So anyway, we left very quickly. It's giving professional. Made it home from Algonquin. When I was finishing my last segment, it was getting pretty dark, so I couldn't film anymore. We're gonna sit down right now and finish spilling the tea, if you will. I mean, this is coffee, not tea, but you get the point. This next one is just something that I feel like is not talked about enough, and that is the fact that content creators often have to just pay for their own travel. If you're gonna be a travel specific content creator, you're gonna have to be posting pretty frequently about traveling. So as a creator, you might not always be able to find a sponsored trip. So a lot of creators might just pay for their own trips to go places just so that they have some content for them to post. Especially for people who are just starting out, it's gonna take an upfront investment of paying for your own trips so that you can make content. So content creators who are small, content creators are big, a lot of them are just paying for their own travel. And then the larger content creators, well often they'll have a YouTube channel about travel, a blog about travel. They'll probably make the money back that they were gonna spend on that trip through their content. At least part of it, if not all of it, if not way more than that. Imagine if you could go to Costa Rica, make a YouTube video about it, and then have that YouTube video pay for your whole trip. Like that would be pretty sweet, that is the goal. 
So for the larger content creators, yes, they are paying for their own travel. If they're making money from talking about travel, then that is essentially their job. They need to pay to go on the trips to then make the money back from YouTube, blogs, etc. I'm gonna need to take a quick break for some seaweed. So I have some tea to spill, and that is the fact that some travel content creators do not have a home. Let me elaborate. You're probably thinking, okay, but how do they afford that? Especially ones that are not huge, not making huge amounts of money on YouTube or a blog. Well, a lot of them just keep their living expenses very, very low. Maybe they live with a partner, so they would be splitting the rent or a mortgage. People who are traveling most months of the year most likely do not have a home base. They're probably not paying rent or a mortgage on an apartment or on a house. It just really doesn't make sense if they're not even gonna be there most of the time. Most people wanna take a break for a few weeks, a few months throughout the year to just chill and not travel. They might go live with their parents. They might go hang out in a country that's cheaper relative to whatever currency they're getting paid in. They might even live in a van. We've seen a lot of content creators on YouTube who travel full time and instead of living in an apartment, they live in a van because it just makes way more sense. Why I pay for an apartment and then also the planes, trains and automobiles in order to travel when you can just pay for a van, which is your like car and apartment all in one. That's so much cheaper. It makes so much sense. People who are like traveling full time have made very strategic moves in order to be able to do that. And that's keeping their living expenses low while prioritizing travel. I just had to add one other thing. So the other ones that I've talked about are more people who post travel specific content. But then there's another type of content creator who sometimes says that they get paid to travel or I make money while I travel, that sort of thing. And my understanding is that a lot of the times those people sell digital products and then they're selling you a course on how to sell digital products. And often they market either their course or their digital products through social media. So while they're on a trip in Bora Bora, let's say, they'll take some videos of themselves, they'll use that as their social media marketing for their digital product or for their course. And that's a way that they're able to make money while they're traveling. And then because digital products can be passive income, maybe they do actually go on a vacation, don't do any work, and they're still bringing money in because their digital products are still being sold in the background. And then often they're selling you a course to learn how to do that. That all sounds pretty sweet to me. And I know that there's a lot of people who claim they've made a lot of money off of digital products. So the whole digital product space is kind of another way that people like get paid to travel even though they're not getting paid to go on the trip it's just they're able to like afford to travel more because they're selling digital products or they're selling a course or something like that so those are all the ways in which travel content creators afford to be able to travel. I really wish I had known this a few years ago when I was kind of getting into this whole industry because I would see so many people traveling and I just did not understand how they were making money from this or how they were able to afford it. For myself moving forward, my goal is definitely to get paid to travel more. Using the following that I have on Instagram along with my photo and video skills to kind of create a bundle package for a tourism board or a hotel. That's what a lot of content creators that I I know do they kind of bundle those services together. I think it can be very beneficial to a company to say, hey, I'm gonna advertise your location on my social media and then I am also going to create digital assets for you to use in your marketing. Let me know below what's your dream location to go to. If you could work with any tourism board of any country or any city, which one would it be? And I will see you next time. Toodles.